Guys, so today is April the fifth. I vlogged. I vlogged a lot this whole week, but I'm having trouble uploading my video. So when it works, it's gonna be kind of like a couple days later, which is like hopefully today. But anyway, I went to Trader Joe's and bought hella stuff under forty bucks. Lots of greens. I am in process of juicing for real this time. Okay. So I'll show you what I got in a minute. Okay, I so it. I'm inside the house. So this is some of the stuff that I bought under 40 bucks. I was really like freaking out, like thinking it's going to be like 60 bucks or something. But also because it's organic. And organic is probably, what, a dollar more higher, I guess. I'm not, I don't know. I don't keep up. But three bags, you guys. Three bags. So I'm going to pull out what I got. Um, I think I got some fruits left in the fridge. I'm so bad now. Like I waste so much shit sometimes. Okay, I got some oranges. Um, apples. Trying to eat clean, raw, whatever you want to call it. Oh, God. I have to because I have to fit into some clothes by the end of this month to go to Cali in my short shorts and cute tops and stuff. Or gang bananas. Another one. And in here, I got spinach to put in the smoothies. Um, or gang milk. I don't drink milk as much as... I used to, like, i just not a fan of milk, but I'm not, like, lactose intolerant. And these are um, green bell peppers. I think they're organic. I can't remember, and my bananas are on the floor. And um, I got edamame. They're so good. You should get them if you're not familiar with what they are. Um, you can go to, like, get sushi or whatever. They give you the steamed ones and you have to peel and eat it. They're so yummy. But the only reason I thought about buying these is because when I went to Wendy's, that's what they had in the Asian uh, cashew salad. And it was the bomb diggity. And carrots. I'm not a fan of carrots either, but I eat them anyway. But I just don't, I don't know. It's weird. I have like a love and hate relationship with carrots. And I'm curious to see what it tastes like when I juice it. I don't know. I think I've had carrot juice before. I don't remember. And then in here, I got some plums. And I love red bell peppers. And they were like not too bad. A couple cents. So I got like three of them. And uh, plums. Some romaine tomatoes. Yes. And down there, my friend, pears, organic pears also, which will go my smoothies. So that is it. I will vlog some more later when I'm in process of looking for, um, what do you call it? A uh, juicer, blender, a better one. Okay? Yeah. Bye. See you guys. I'm target right now. I'm kind of crazy and hyper. And I'm looking for a juicer blender. But apparently they say... <gasps> It's right there. I found it. That's twenty. So they were saying like a blender is better because the nutrient stays in there. If it's a juicer, it juices stuff, but then all the nutrients are coming out the other end, and it kind of wastes. This is the one I'm talking about. Here it is. It comes with the extra um. The cups. The cup yeah. target. So I'm trying to figure out which blender to get. I'm really wanting this one, but undecided. And this is the price for it. There's the Ninja. Oh, look at this one. Ultimate Blender, but I don't know what it comes with. And this is the Prep Professional. This is Crush Blend and Chop. Monte, I need help! I'm having a panic attack at Target. Just kidding. I'm at Target with Brenda. Okay, how much was your ninja? Wasn't it half set? And it came with a lot, right? This is Hamilton. This is half set. Right, so today up. is April the 6th, and I'm getting ready to get my hair done. I have an appointment at 12. It takes me 30 minutes or 40 to get to where I need to be and um, I need some highlights I did this um, balayage highlight last summer it was really cute but I actually want more highlights start from the top and it's probably more made since my roots grow but whatever I need some change I miss having like this dark brown hair with some kind of blonde or caramel highlights 
and of course the haircut my hair like grew so I feel like even if you need to chop I love dead ends go ahead it'll grow back it's so weird it's like when I have long hair I get sick of it when I have short hair I want long hair back and forth but I do love curling my hair so I don't know I just need some change I have an idea of what I want but then I just don't know what I want so every time I go there I'm like just surprise me so I've been eating like crazy and I'm actually gonna buy I've signed on the Ninja blender because I want juice but I wasn't sure whether to get a juicer or a blender or what's better so basically a juicer is great but then it wastes a lot of major nutrients from any kind of vegetable or fruit that you're trying to juice and the leftover comes out at the end I guess like part of the skin like just everything like pretty much the main reason why you want to juice is getting all the vitamins and nutrients from the actual fruit raw um so that's if it's a purpose so basically a blender everything goes in there Nothing's left behind. Makes me think of Stitch. But anyway, um, I'm fat. I'm round. Like, I still feel pretty, but this is not good. This is like 165 of bad. And I just want to eat. I've been drinking alcohol. And I literally have one month to be at least in the 140s. Because I doubt I'll get in the 130s. It's like I'm so like bipolar in life and bipolar through this weight loss journey, if I'm depressed, I feel like the world is ending, I don't eat, I don't eat, and then I go in this exercising regimen, and I do well, and then another time, like right now, I'm depressed, I'm work and stress, I'm eating, I'm happy enjoying life, but some days I'm sad because of little things here and there, I don't know, I can't keep up with my own life, therefore I am bipolar. But, um, this is my before hair. I will do an update when I get my hair done. Like, I'm so ready for some highlights and some, like, shorter bangs and choppy layers. I don't know. So, <clears throat> yeah. Um, I don't know what to say. I will vlog some more. And thank you to my new subscribers. Anyway, I am also, well, I don't know. Okay, I am doing a green smoothie challenge. I was, I can't remember if I was online, on Google or YouTubing, but there's this website called simplesmoothie.com or simplesmoothiechallenge.com, something along the lines but if you google it will pop up is this website you sign up it's free and they will send you a newsletter and start you off with recipes of different kind of smoothies and they look delicious and it's ingredients that I'm very familiar with um, and all of it has spinach in it but just different variations of different kind of fruits and other kinds of greens and it just looks amazing and I think they start every other month or something. So I missed the first week, but I'm still continuing starting this Monday. So it's a 30-day green smoothie challenge. I'm not sure what I'm going to do because every time I try to keep up with a plan, it doesn't work. But my main goal is to do it for 30 days. I want to replace two meals with a smoothie breakfast and lunch and dinner salad. Can't have any processed foods. That's why... At the same time, I'm like, yeah, eat all this shit, which makes me gain any more weight. So follow me. Praise the Lord that I go through with this. Because if I don't, I'm going to go to Cali looking like a fat ass. And I'm trying to prove a point. And I'm going to look good. Even though now that I'm overweight, I feel prettier than when I was before. Overweight at this weight, which makes sense. And when I was at this weight... I didn't look like this. How is that when you're the same weight and I look better now and I look uglier at the time at this weight? Does that make sense? Anyone out there ever feel like that? Please comment. Let me know what you think or maybe I'm just crazy. But honest to God, I was this weight before and I didn't look like this. Like it was like fatter than what I am now even though I was at this weight at 165. 
I don't know. So, I will put the website down. So, who wants to join me? I mean, you're not too late. You're not too late. It's nice to vlog. My cousins actually might want to do it, so you might see her in this video. I'm not sure how she feels, so we'll see. But it feels so good to have someone do it with you. Especially when you feel low and you're stuck and you're feeling like... Yeah. And then I think I will take the Adapex too, just to help me out. And some other stuff that I bought yesterday, because I went to um, Walmart in the afternoon after my morning Trader Joe's shopping. I actually got this other tea. I'll show you later. Um, actually, you know what? Here it is. I found it. I've heard this brand before. Only reason I was checking it out is because they mentioned this kind of tea with uh, Yogi. Oh, God. That's the name of the brand. It's called by Yogi. And um, they mentioned that kind of tea for the Master Cleanse, the lemonade diet, whatever. But it was the one... It's the laxative ones, whatever it was. But this is a different one. It's um, green tea, blueberry, milk. Blueberry Slim Life energizes and supports a dieting program. Oh, snap. And it contains caffeine. Oh, snap. Well, I suppose. Um, yeah, it says green tea, blueberry slim life is specifically formulated to help you give the energy you need to maintain an active lifestyle while dieting. And it's organic green tea. I think I saw something like this at Trader Joe too. But um Alright guys, I should be going soon. So this is my before picture. And um check out later when you hear you. Hey guys, so I'm back. So this is my hair. For some reason I was expecting something else. I I didn't even show her a picture. I just I don't know, something about her makes me nervous, even though she's good, if that makes sense. I keep coming back to her. This time, I was like, I'm here for a haircut, a layer, size with bangs, and I want a darker base with some, like, honey blonde highlights. And all she said was, so you want something lighter? So I was like, okay. I'm one of those people who are really quiet and don't say much, and I was afraid, but she always does a good job, so I can't complain. But anyway, this is my hair. I turned the light on, but it didn't make a difference. But you can still see what it looks like. Um, she curled my hair, so I am going to do a turn. So, this makes me think of the hair color I had back in Cali. It looks... I can't explain it. I have to get used to it. It's been a while since I've had all over highlights like this. But pretty much, I think I like this better than what I had in Cali. Yes. Oh yeah, typical. It's like not too blonde blonde, but just the right brown caramel dark base. But it's not black either, because she dyed my whole hair first and then she did the highlights after. And I was literally like falling asleep. So, I don't know. I just made something really good and I didn't know where to go. So I went to Wendy's Bad, got me um, a Baconator or something with some fries. It's so good. So. Just want to show you guys my hair, and I'm so ready to go to Cali, and I'm so ready to like look really fit and sexy, because I do feel sexy right now, just overweight, okay? So this is my treat, it's kind of my late birthday treat, because just go for money and stuff, but I paid 120, well, technically 130, because I took her 5 bucks, because I really like her, but not bad, because I paid more than this, close to 200 actually, in Cali, so yay! And um, she pretty much cut out the dead ends. I'm not sure I might get more layers in Cali. I don't know yet, but I like my long hair, so. Alright, guys. I will see you soon and vlog more. I'm still thinking whether I need to order the um, Ninja or not. But I feel like I want to. Alright, bye.